Prescott Van Meyer III, Sommelier from home. Well, July 4th is upon us for you Yanks that are watching. Happy July 4th to you. And if you are lucky enough to have a home and friends and a backyard to celebrate the festivities, then you're in luck. For today's Malort Mixology, we are doing Malort Jello shots for all your friends and guests. Whether you like them or hate them, you can tell them it's a Malort Jello shot or you can leave it a surprise. Up to you. There's a 50 50 chance that they will leave <laughs> once you give this to them. But the people that stay, I guess there's a higher than 50% chance they will heave all over your backyard. So, playing with fire there. But what else are you supposed to do on July 4th? <laughs> All right, so we are doing the normal Jello shot recipe where we have one cup of hot water to dissolve the gelatin. And the cup of cold water, we have cut that with half a cup of cold water and half a cup of the liquor of choice, Malort. Malort Jello shots. Our flavor today is orange artificial flavor. One can only imagine what Malort will do to artificial orange flavoring. The word radioactive comes to mind, but I am sure there's no uranium or plutonium in either product, so. Those beers are you know, misguided, right? It won't become radioactive, is, is what I'm saying. Pretty sure. I feel like it won't. I feel like I should say don't try this at home, you know, to legally protect myself, but I kind of do want you to try it at home. So let's just stay in this legal gray area. Now I have seen quite a lot of comments of Malort enthusiasts say that grapefruit and Malort is a really great combination. Well, they don't have grapefruit jello just yet. Closest I could get was orange, and we're gonna play with that today. Although it makes me question anyone who uses Malort and great in the same sentence. Not really trusting you. Trust you about as much as I do Uncle Three Fingered Stew and his homemade fireworks. That's three total fingers, not three fingers on one hand. Two pinkies and a thumb. Won't even get into his toes. That's the stuff of nightmare. Good to see you too, Uncle Stu. To be fair, it was a pretty exciting fireworks display. <laughs> All right, let's make the jello. First, get that cup of hot water. And let's get this precise. Precision really matters for recipes like this. Now, normally as a kid, I was excited about jello. Today, you know, I don't know if excitement is the right word. Maybe more like dread. All right, recipes say half a cup of vodka or the liquor of your choice and half a cup of cold water. So let's get half a cup of water. And half a cup more. I feel like a chemist of some kind. A chemist of anger and sadness. And sorry future self. And sorry to my guests. Normally I'm sad, I don't have some friends to share drinks with, but today it's a blessing in disguise for them, not me. Hey, if we get to 5 million views, I'll mail a couple of these bad boys right to your doorstep. It must be 25 and over to apply. Assuming that it makes it through the United States Postal Service system, they do say rain, sleet, and snow. They don't mention anything about Malort. So now we're gonna put them in the fridge and let them set for a couple hours. I sure hope it doesn't affect any of the other food in the fridge. <laughs> It's been a couple of hours, let's check on those jello shots. All right, let's just cut this one. Well, it's set, so we'll put this one aside. Here we go. Chadwick always makes fun of me for loosening it with my pinky finger, but these little rat fingers know how to loosen up a jello shot, I'll tell you. All right. Reminds me of something. You know, this actually sounds like a butt dial I got from Abby once. She says she was jogging. It's just gross. It's just gross. It just tastes bad. It tastes like orange jello mixed with leprosy. Only this leper also has gingivitis. Really, really throbbing, advanced gum disease. And the smell finds you. There's no escape. No offense to any of the communities out there dealing with leprosy. You know, that's more of an indictment of the global community that doesn't get cheap and accessible medical care to those who need it. I'm talking about biblical leprosy. You know, 
as Malort takes us way back to that angry god who would smite people. And it looks and tastes like he did. Maybe it's not that. Maybe the orange itself has made some poor life choices, found itself wandering the globe until it fell in love with a durian fruit. Only this durian fruit was a free spirit and didn't bathe all that often. They make sweet, passionate, stinky love with each other. And that kid is what made this orange jello. But I mean, what's more likely, that the orange is bad or it's just the Malort? It's just the Malort at this point. It's always the Malort. Can't escape it. All right, comment below what you want me to do next. I'm gonna have some onesies available on my merch shop pretty soon. No better way to decorate your toddler than with themes of alcohol and depression. So, buy them. People3merch.com. I'm sure it's made of 100% cotton. Could I have gotten the shirts made with asbestos for a lot cheaper? Yeah, but I didn't. Mainly supply chain issues. You know, it's actually harder to get asbestos than you would think. Very inexpensive though. But no, I chose cotton or some blend. Doesn't get old. I mean, it gets old.